Yo, what is good people? It's Vozobit here and welcome to another video in which I will show you how to mix vocals with Reaper's stock plugins. It was pretty much requested by some of you uh, in my latest poll here on YouTube, so I thought I will give it a shot since uh, most of you here are for Reaper, so here is another Reaper video for you. But, but remember that I'm always making videos not strictly about Reaper, even though it's still my main DAW and it's uh, in pretty much all of my videos, so you can check them out on the channel. Ozone Elements is free on Plugin Boutique right now, so you can just grab it. It's a great plugin for mastering. As we are going to talk about vocals today, Vocal Supreme Bundle from Sound Toys is also discounted right now and lots of other great deals you can check on their website. So if you want to support the channel without any extra cost to you, you can visit my affiliate link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. So here's a session that my friend sent me. Uh, it's a really simple rap song uh, with a beat and one stem, main vocal for the verse, two additional vocals for the background and two vocals for the chorus. That's how the vocal sounds like without any effects, just the raw vocal. M9-3, no pętli, nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym, nagrywki z całą pewnością, częściej niż rok przestępny. The recording quality is far from perfect, uh, but it's still manageable, so I think it will be a good example to show in this video. Right now I will set up a vocal effects chain and then I will set every single plugin up to make this vocal sound as good as possible. Okay, let's open inserts and let's start inserting effects. So the first one is going to be EQ, so here is ReQ. This one is going to be a subtractive EQ. This means we are not going to boost anything here, we are just going to subtract frequencies here. Personally, I also like to call it the cleaning EQ. In the next steps, I'm going to look for uh, some uh, disturbing frequencies, but right now let's focus on the vocal chain. Next one is going to be a deesser. Here is a JS deesser. Next, we need to compress the sound. So let's insert recomp, and then let's insert another re EQ, uh, which is going to be an additive EQ. And an additive EQ is just simply an EQ where you boost frequencies. So the first one was for taking out certain frequencies and this one is for boosting certain frequencies. Let's loop the vocal in the background uh, and let's start from the first EQ. As you already noticed, uh, this frequency is taken out because as we play the vocal, there is nothing really here. You can't really hear the difference as I take everything below 50 Hz out. If you are listening closely, uh, you could hear that this vocal is really boxy. That's probably because it was recorded in a really tight space, so some frequencies got doubled. Uh, due to some standing waves, so let's have a listen and let's find them. For this purpose I've made a pretty narrow bell like this and I'm going to sweep through the whole spectrum to look for this uh, disturbing frequency. It's just going to hurt my ears, so I will know uh, as it occurs. M9-3, na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Somewhere between 500 Hz and 1000 Hz. Okay, let's take another band and let's have a listen to the middle frequencies as well as the higher frequencies. I ja tobie też potrzebny składam wersy, jak swego czasu w FL paterny na życie swoje patenty, powtarzam wersy, nie błędy. Here we could cut the frequencies just reduce them a little bit. Sounds fine to me. Right now, let's compare with and without the cleaning equalizer. M9-3, na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. I ja tobie też potrzebny składam wersy jak swe... The vocal is just getting less boxy and it seems to be cleaner. The next plugin is the deesser. A deesser, if you've watched my video about the deesser, this is a full guide about how to use this plugin, is going to take out those sibilants. Every sound, like sound, the word sound for example, uh, starts with, with a sibilant, so a really like s kind of sound. Uh, so this tool will help us uh, to get those sounds out without uh, like cutting them out here in the equalizer, uh, only as they appear. So if there is nothing happening, so there is, like there is no sibilant, uh, it's going to do basically nothing. It only works on those tiny uh, spectrums, uh, like a dynamic equalizer. Okay, so let's start with the threshold. 
and let's apply it and have a listen if it works by OFD default settings. M9 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. If you can't really hear the difference, you can always turn the monitor feature right here and right now you will hear the reductions only. So right now it's reducing pretty hard. So let's move the threshold up. Let's have a listen with and without the plugin. M9 3 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. I ja tobie też potrzebny. Składam wersy jak swego czasu w FL Patterny. The difference in this case is really subtle because this vocal doesn't really have lots of sibilants. They aren't as harsh as uh, some other recordings I've uh, been mixing. Uh, so Theoretically, we didn't really have to use the ESR here, but I've put it for the sake of showing you a proper vocal chain. The next step is the compressor and we will stay here for a while uh, because I have to uh, tell you about all of its parameters. The faders that are interesting to you are threshold, attack, release, ratio, uh, and that's pretty much it for the basics. The threshold is where you tell your compressor to start working. So. Uh, you can set it at a higher level, so it will only compress the peaks, the spikes on your waveform. Or you can also move it down here, for example, and it will compress everything a lot. That's just, let's say, like an indicator of where the compression should start. Attack is a parameter that tells the compressor uh, about how fast it's going to work. So as soon as the compressor hears the vocal in your project, it's going to start working in three milliseconds, or for example, in 36 milliseconds. So if we set the compressor, for example, at around 100 milliseconds, um, as it starts hearing the vocal, it's going to take 100 milliseconds to, for the compressor to start working. It's not going to happen like immediately. It's going to be linear in most of the cases. For the rap vocals, I like to keep the compression pretty fast. So somewhere around one to three milliseconds is okay. Let's uh, make a compromise 1.5 milliseconds. The release parameter is really similar to attack, but it's actually its opposite. So the attack is the parameter that is telling the compressor about how much time it's going to start compressing. And release is a parameter that is telling the compressor about how much time it's going to take to stop compressing. For rap vocals in this case, I suggest to uh, start at 50 milliseconds, so it's going to be a pretty aggressive release, uh, or you can just leave it at 100 milliseconds up to 300 milliseconds if you wish. You just have to listen to it and try to hear how it works. But if you need like an average setting, just leave it at 100 milliseconds. The last parameter is the ratio. And it's really important because uh, this is the actual amount of compression that you are going to apply. And let's stop here for a while because what is compression? Compression is making something louder, you would think. But it's actually not true. If you are compressing sound, you are making it quieter because you had a really dynamic sound and now you squeezed it so it's less dynamic and in effect it's just quieter. That's why after compressing you need to compensate the volume of the compressed signal for example with this wet fader right here. Right now I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's play the vocal, let's lower the threshold. Okay, and now the ratio. And the vocal is getting quieter and quieter. So, as you noticed, this is what I was talking about. The ratio uh, is adding more compression and it's making your vocal quieter. For vocals, I suggest to move between uh, ratios 2 to 1 or 4 to 1. I sometimes use uh, more than 4 to 1, but usually I stick at around 4 to 1 ratio. And right now let's apply the threshold one more time. M9 3 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością częściej niż rok. I feel like we can change the release a little bit because it's just way too aggressive uh, in my opinion. So let's make it 200 milliseconds. M9 3 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędne okay. w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. And here we have auto makeup. 
and this is going to compensate the volume automatically even uh, if we change the ratio higher. So right now the compressed vocal is actually louder than the original. Let's have a listen. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. I ja tobie też potrzebny składam we... Great. Okay, the compressor is set up. And now the last EQ. And it's a really important EQ because that's where we are going to uh, add some color and polish to the vocal. Let's start at around 10k because uh, we need to make this vocal a little bit clearer, a little bit more... Uh, glassy, let's say. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jest. Okay, let's take another band. Let's make it more narrow. Let's see if we can boost something in the middle. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. 5K Nagrywki z całą sounds pewnością. pretty nice. Częściej niż rok przestępny okay. jesteś mi potrzebny. I ja tobie też. Right now let's have a listen with and without uh, the additive EQ. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Okay, sounds pretty nice. I feel like we can um, reduce um, a certain frequency um, in the first equalizer somewhere here. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. Okay. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok because as we compress the vocal, some frequencies are going to be boosted by the compressor. So you can actually start hearing more uh, irritating frequencies. So we can always get back to the first um, equalizer and clean them out. Now, if you'd like to add some extra harmonics to your vocal, you can also use some saturation. Uh, in Reaper, you have uh, the JS saturation as an example. Uh, it's a really subtle, uh, kind of warming uh, effect uh, that's making the vocal uh, richer in harmonics. Czy na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni? Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. With. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż Without. przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. Let's make all the other vocals quieter. Um, let's make our vocal uh, quiet too. And right now I'm going to rise the vocal volume um, to fit it. And right now I'm going to rise the vocal volume to uh, place it on a beat. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny I ja tobie też potrzebny Składam wersy jak swego czasu FL paterny na życie swoje patenty Powtarzam wersy nie błędy Peru autentyk Wiem jak smakują konserwy Staram się tak działać by w baku Okay, uh, the level is uh, correct, let's say. Uh, I feel like we can reduce some more frequencies uh, because the vocal is still boxy. Let's make this bigger so we can be more precise. Tego czasu FL paterny na życie swoje patenty powtarzam wersy nie błędy. Peru autentyk. Wiem jak smakują konserwy. Staram się tak działać by w baku nie było rezerwy. Nie puszczę szansy a nerwy nie zawsze temat to pewny. Na refrenie nie użyczy głosu zagrobelny dzielny nie niedzielny. M93 to ten styl jebat tych których bolą okay. postępy niebieskie mendy dla mnie nie. Sounds better. Here we have those additional vocals for the background so I'm going to make another track for them. Uh, and let's name them uh, Backing uh, Vox. Let's make them louder. Let's make this quieter. And those vocals are going to be in stereo. So uh, this one is going to the right at around 20%, let's say. Uh, and this one is going to the left 20%, the same amount. Uh, right now, I'm going to take all of those effects, the whole vocal chain that we've made, and drop it at the Backing Vox. So we have the same settings here. And right now I'm going to play the vocal and raise the volume of the backing vox to fit the main vocal. M93 na pętli nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi niezbędnych w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością. Częściej niż rok przestępny jesteś mi potrzebny. I ja tobie też potrzebny. Składam wersy jak swego czasu FL paterny. Na życie swoje patenty. Powtarzam wersy nie błędy. Okay. Now let's add some space to the vocal. For this purpose I have a vocal reverb prepared in my template. It's actually uh, the epic verb from the from the variety of sound as far as I remember. It's a free plugin so you can find it on the internet. And now I'm taking the routing from the main vocal and I'm placing it on the vocal track. And right now I'm taking the routing from the main vocal and I'm sending it to the vocal reverb in the reverb bus. Now we've got lots of reverb so I'm going to 
uh, lower the amount of reverb until I stop hearing the reverb um, in the mix. M9-3, na pętli, nie słuchasz tu żadnych drewni Wokal jeden z narzędzi, niezbędny w życiu codziennym Nagrywki z całą pewnością, częściej niż rok przestępny Jesteś mi potrzebny i ja tobie też potrzebny Składam wersję Ok, right now at this level I can't really hear the reverb that much But as we play the vocal on solo M9-3, na pętli, nie słuchasz tu żadnych bredni Wok It actually has a lot of reverb And thanks to it, it fits really nicely into the beat. And for those backing vocals, I will use some bigger reverb. So here I have a plate reverb. M9-3, na pętli, nie słuchasz tu żadnych drewni. Wokal jeden z narzędzi, niezbędny w życiu codziennym. Nagrywki z całą pewnością, częściej niż rok przestępny. Jesteś mi potrzebny i ja tobie też potrzebny. The plate reverb I'm using is Arturia RF Plate 140. Very versatile reverb unit. Uh, the link for the plugin is in the description uh, down below. And I really like to use it on backing vocals since it really adds this deepness. I don't know if there is such a word in English. It's just making the vocals a lot deeper, a lot more like full. So that were the basics of uh, mixing vocals in Reaper with Reaper's stock plugins. If you have any questions or concerns or if you didn't understand uh, something in the video, uh, the comment section is yours. Or you can just have an online lesson with me uh, you can check the offer on my website. That's pretty much everything for today. See you on Friday. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vozobeats. Keep the good vibes alive.